This is a video about the lymphatic drainage of the thorax. Personally, I had lots of trouble trying to understand and memorize the lymphatics of the body, but I managed to make something very simple to understand and I would like to show you. First of all, let's talk about the basic concept of the lymphatic drainage of the body. We can split the lymphatic drainage into two main parts. The upper right part drains into the right lymphatic duct. We can see the upper right part right here. So we have the right lymphatic duct on the right side. The rest of the body, meaning the bottom uh, bottom half and the left upper part drain into the thoracic duct. So the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct are the two main drainages of lymph in the body. The right upper quadrant drains into the right lymphatic duct and the rest of the body drains into the left lymphatic duct. Now after we clear this thing out Let's talk about what drains into the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct. The thoracic duct has the cistern Achille from the bottom half of the body below the diaphragm, draining into it at about the region of the first lumbar vertebrae. It has the left jugular trunk from the head and neck region. It has the left subclavian trunk from the upper extremity and most of the thoracic lymph nodes. The right lymphatic duct, on the other hand, has only the right jugular trunk from the head and neck, the right subclavian trunk from the upper extremity, and the right side of the thorax, meaning the rest of the thoracic lymph nodes. Now, here we can see, even though it's not very accurate, this uh, represents uh, essentially the demonstrative region of the drainage of the thoracic and right uh, lymph ducts. So these both lymph ducts drain into the venous angle. The venous angle is uh, formed from the subclavian and the internal jugular veins. So the thoracic duct drains into the left venous angle while the right lymphatic duct drains into the right venous angle. These both drainages hap happen at around the region of the fourth or fifth thoracic vertebrae. Now I prepared a very easy to memorize uh, drainage flowchart for the viscera and uh, the structures in the thoracic region. Now, first of all, let's talk about um, the whole management of uh, this flowchart. In the red, you can see the organs and the structures. In green, you see the uh, lymph nodes and the lymph ducts. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, here we have the lungs and the pleura on the left bottom. The lungs and pleura drain into the pulmonary lymph nodes, which are located around the uh, hilum of the lungs. These pulmonary lymph nodes drain into the bronchopulmonary lymph nodes and then they go up and drain to the tracheobronchial lymph nodes. These tracheobronchial lymph nodes are located around the ascending aorta right when it exits from the heart. Then we have the thymus. The thymus drains into the parasternal uh, lymph nodes, but it's not very important. So we might just say that it drains into the tracheobronchial lymph nodes Then we have the heart and pericardium which have a single uh, Lymph duct which drains into the tracheobronchial uh, lymph nodes as well Then we have the thoracic wall which drains into the paraaortic lymph nodes which also drain into the tracheobronchial lymph nodes once again, the tracheobronchial lymph nodes are located right in the middle around the ascending aorta. Now these tracheobronchial lymph nodes drain lymph upwards towards the bronchomediastinal lymph nodes. So the bronchomediastinal lymph nodes also make a certain duct which goes to the right and left 
uh, sides. The right side goes into the right lymphatic duct, while the left side goes to the thoracic duct. There might be also a connection straight to the venous angle, but mainly that's the general uh, flow of the lymph in the body.